Hello guys everyone, welcome to the second episode of my clothes collection tutorials. Today we're gonna make these face masks. So let's dive in. First of all, you need to download this base mesh. I will put the link in the description so you can download it from there. Then you must add it to your project. Go to the file, import, obj format and add the file. Then add a plane to your scene and move it up by press G and Z. Just remember these short keys. It's very helpful. I use it every time. Uh, for example, if you want to move an object, just press G and after that press X to move it in the X axis, Y in the Y axis and Z in the Z axis. You can also use them to rotate an object by press R and XYZ. Then rotate the plane 19 degrees in the X axis and place it somewhere like here. Then go to the front view by press 1 in the number pad and go to the edit mode by press tab press ctrl r to add a loop cut here and select these two vertices press x and choose vertices by the way you can see what i'm doing right here whenever you are confused or if you lost anything go back to the object mode and add a mirror modifier to the plane and again add some loop cuts exactly in the same way I'm doing. After adding the loop cuts, let's adjust the vertices close to the face. Just see what I'm doing and do the same. Then go to the snapping setting and choose the face and checkbox the project individual elements then turn on the snap tool select all by pressing a and now when we hit g all the vertices will align with the face and select this face press x and choose only faces and select the edge again press x and choose edge to make the eyes whole then just select this edge and now when you extrude this edge the vertices will snap to the face so you can extrude it in the y-axis and you can also scale it in the y-axis to make it flatter and again press G to align it with the face and I think you get the point so I speed up the video and just uh, see what I'm doing till I do something different sure checkbox the clipping option of the mirror modifier to merge two parts of your mask together and add the solidify modifier change the offset from negative 1 to 1 and give some thickness to it after that add the level 3 subdivision surface modifier and do the last additions by adding loop cuts and so on And don't be afraid of the faces which are going out of the mask, we'll fix it very soon. Then whenever you have something like this, apply the mirror modifier. To fill the top of the mask, you just need to select this edge by hold alt and select it. Then press ctrl f and choose grid fill. Then open this menu and play with the span and offset to adjust the middle edge. To the middle edge of the mask then turn on the proportional editing object and select this vertex and move it up to have something like this then select this edge by holding alt and select the edge then press g two times and move it down To make the neck area, just select this bottom edge and extrude it down and play with the scale and play with the position of the vertices to make the base shape. Finally, apply 
apply the solidify modifier and the subdivision surface modifier then go to the sculpting panel and now with this default brush which is named draw we can do the all we want when you draw with it on your mesh it pulls the mesh out and when you hold control and draw it pushes the faces in so it's very easy to use and you can fix the problems very quickly you can also change the strength of this brush from here and one more tip is you can hold shift and draw to smooth your mesh to change the strength of the smooth brush you have to select the smooth brush and change it from there press F if you want to change the radius of your brush When we are done with the shape and the modeling, we are gonna make the material. So open the shading workspace. Then in the shader editor, press shift A and search for wave texture and add one. Then enter 100 for scale, 7 for distortion and 10 for detail scale. After that make sure the node wrangler add-on is on and with the wave texture is selected, press ctrl T. Select these scale inputs of the mapping node by click and drag and enter 3. Then connect the UV of the texture coordinate node to the vector of the mapping node. After that add the bump node and connect the color of the wave texture to the height of the bump node. Then normal to the normal. It's probably a strange like this so go to the edit mode. Press A to select all and press U then choose a sphere projection. Now change the strength of the bomb node from 1 to 0.5 and distance to 0.1. Then you can change the color from here and we must increase the roughness to 0.9 and increase the sheen to something like 0.5. We are nearly done with the material and we can use any textures to it like this one which you can download it from the link in the description. And after add a texture and connect it to the base color you can click the mapping node, hold ctrl shift and press D to duplicate it and vector to the vector of the image texture. Then you can play with the scale, play with the location of the texture and so on. And add a hue saturation node after the image texture to control the saturation, the value and play with them. We are completely done guys but as always I forgot to say something. But I guess you guys get it how to change the shape of the holes, how to fill between the eyes holes and etc. But just in case I wanna tell you guys do it before applying the mirror modifier it's easier and I will also share a quick video from my approach and yes this is the end of this video and if you are still watching I wanna tell you thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe me to don't miss the other tutorials I will share on the clothes collection subjects. Hope you enjoy and learn something new.